It was another snowy Friday night in Bismarck as the Dakota Wizards hosted the Maine Red Claws for the second time this season. Neither team scored in the first minute, but things would pick up from there. Here's David Bell with a pretty drive tying the game at two. Next, Bell would penetrate and miss, but Curtis Withers was there for the follow. The first quarter was close most of the way. Darnell Lazar scores on this nice left-handed shot from close range. The first quarter ended with the Dakota Wizards leading the main Red Claws 22-20. In the second quarter, Tony Bobbitt hit one of his five threes to pull the Claws to within one. Now, Darren Cooper to Boo Jackson for two of his ten. Former number one draft pick Mo Ager made his Red Claws debut. Here he takes the feed from Trey Gilder and jams it home. Mo Baker was one of eight Wizards in double figures. Here he takes a pass from Connor Ashley and fires away. This three put the Wizards up by six. The Red Claws would come back. Here's Bobbitt again to pull Maine to within one in the late part of the second quarter. Your halftime score, Wizards 49, Maine 47. Now third quarter, the Red Claws with a pick and pop from Bobbitt to Lazar to cut the Wizards lead to seven. Here's Dub finding Connor Ashley all alone underneath for two. Here's Wizards leading scorer Romel Beck with three of his 14 third quarter points. The Wizards would go up by 18 in the third, but Maine would go on an 18-0 run to tie it. Here's Agar with part of that run. But Dakota would hold on. Here is a slick screen and roll leading to a huge dunk by Curtis Withers. The final score, the Dakota Wizards 116, the Maine Red Claws 105. For all you need to know about the NBA's official minor league, visit nba.com slash dleague.